night. Assemble! Congratulations, Thomas. Uh, thank you, CCA champion. Uh, no, uh, have, haven't seen no any. Uh, to it. Ashke, even TP Bay, Sagang, is on night. So, 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 谢谢怨灵修之朝天送的粉丝牌。게임 소리 안 나와. 아까 그 헤드셋 그, 그 문제 생겼더니. 저 요시 쇼는 잘 매우로. 그냥 하는 그 얼마에 유이세 문제. 시시 에릭슨의 사장. 사장, 시시. 来来来来，这个马哥们也给卡特，这边，守守住应该就能赢了。安德，不行，直接拿我给他，赢个。嗯，啊，赢了。那没事儿。One to zero, one to zero, and before that, Chen.
very unfortunate. The lobbies keep bugging. Oops. What's in Tonga? It's on it. Well, it just doesn't frustrate the players too much. Oh, this is a good. It's a good thing. Sometimes. Sometimes the, the server gods aren't on our side. We just gotta try a couple more times. And then maybe it's gonna work. This portal is not open. 没有 TP 很危险Shame if this game can't start because this is uh, one of the highlights in the Warcraft world. Lin versus one two zero. They've had epic encounters in the past. I can still remember days where they played the CS Grand Finals. In fact, mm, was, uh, the one time when you and I were in Shanghai, GCS, where Rudan, for example, was playing. Oh, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. We have been successful in starting all first now. Pet Cup 10 semi-finals. We already know who tomorrow's grand finalist is going to be from the other side. That is Kaho, the young and rising player from China. Both these players also live in China. 1 to 0 and Lin. Of course, originally South Korean. It has made China his home. Oh. Bottom left, we got Lin and one to zero in the top right. Fassi Headhunters against DK Ghouls is normally what is the standard here. Interesting base build here by Lin. Everything tucked in very tight. What is this build? Early shop. He was microing the peons. Only fear four peons in the gold mine because he has more lumber early. Ooh, this is a new evolution that I haven't seen yet in terms of builds. So he wants to have salves early. Maybe even a speed skull. Probably just salves. That is unusual. Oh, the only push big upside with playing Farseer is you don't have to. I'm here. Oh my god! You don't uh, have to build a shop. You can save those resources because the wolves are always tanking all the damage. But then it's going for an early shop. Very very interesting indeed. It's gonna be a late tech for him. He's going double borrow plus shop headhunters. So tier two will take a while. Starting off very well with the claws of attack. Oh, use the coil on the wolf. Gets a bit more experience there. And one to zero always so experienced with getting these last hits. Oh, it's one wolf now. <laughs> This is the slowest orc tech I have ever seen. Shop and headhunters, two borrow and early attack upgrade. One to 
Azra is attacking faster than the orcs, which normally never happens. Level 2 is acquired for the DK. He lost quite a bit of HP. It's the cloak, which is actually pretty good for him here now, as he's so hurt. Dagger might be a good idea now with Death Knight having lost so much health. The heal salves so far weren't too helpful. I guess Lin mostly wants to have it for the Farseer. Definitely lose HP there. Very interesting. The cool thing about Cloak is you can use Ritual Dagger for healing and then use the Cloak to stay invisible so you can't get the healing can't get cancelled. Thank you, Omnia5, with the 13 monthly sub. I want to so far refusing to get the ritual dagger. And Lin is poking. Trying to find some easy ghoul kills, maybe, but 1 0 hasn't allowed those yet. Headhunters with 1 0 upgrades, so this poke potential for Lin is very strong. Another headhunter joining as well. Wait, is this gonna be six? He's gonna have seven headhunters <laughs> with this amount of headhunters. He can actually creep every camp on the map already. Game sound on the game. Come on, yeah. Oh, wait, he got them from behind. Coming, lit okay, and yes, seven. I don't think it's either. The man And also, the skellies get taken out so fast. It's like two volleys, maybe. And the skellies are gone. Shadow Hunter second. No TC. Lin didn't need any of his skill cells, by the way. Still has them all in his inventory. And this is a rough early game for 1 to 0, I'd say. He's far away from level 3 DK. He didn't get any headhunter kills. I'm not really able to get too many coil assets either. Oh, buddy! God damn it, I didn't see it again. I think he got it. The coil was a bit too early, but he got it with the right click, I think. With the DK. Lich now joins. So should the Shadow Hunter. And the Shadow Hunter with Hex will be a big help. Oh yeah, with this amount of Headhunters and Hex, Link can creep extremely well now. Still so struggling to get his relevant level up. DK still on level 3. But that should change very soon. Good for natural. Good experience right there. Illusion scouting by Lin. And we can pick up a bit more solo experience on the boss here, I think. As tier 3 is coming, we also got the Raiders. Oh, no, you go. I think up to an you go. Wait, so. Early invoke potion and also buying a serpent, pretty expensive. Very early second attack upgrade for Lin, by the way. Berserker is also coming. Lin really wants the last hit, but oh, with the Nova. What is it? Reclaims that for himself. One hit on 
goes down. A little bit of speed scroll though. He wants to find some kills in return. Don't know if that's gonna happen though. There's an evil potion in the lich. I think Lin didn't see it. Boy, all of a sudden these berserkers, which aren't berserkers yet, it's just ghouls. I mean, it's just uh, headhunters. And the ghouls are chasing after them. Very good splits by 120. Takes out two more headhunters right there. And the timing was the worst for Lin. He didn't have the berserkers yet. He didn't have the TC yet. And Wonderzer had the perfect timing. He had the frenzy ghouls and he had the third hero. And that was a big mistake by Lin. Trying to take that fight puts him far behind now. With the coil, he can get one more kill. Oh my goodness. Good early game by Lin. He harassed the DK's creeping early very well, but that was the worst fight he possibly could have taken. TC is now finally out, but he was not part of the first fight. And what is there has a big lead with this. Level 2 now even on the Dark Ranger, so now he's going to have Silence to work with as well. Didn't buy the inborn here, that's kind of surprising. With the inborn missing, Lin could try to go for some hero kill now maybe. Looking quite confident. Willing to steal this camp away from the opponent right in his face. Oh, talisman almost stolen, but not quite. TC lands a beautiful stomp, and the Cloak of Flames is doing so much damage. What is there is brute forcing the kill on the TC, and he gets him as well. Only level one, of course. TC pretty squishy. The Shadow Hunter was silenced. Could use the heal wave there. Not sure if he even had the mana. And the Shadow is still lacking the level three. Mitch. Gets it first. Level 2 Nova now available. What's the Dark Ranger's experience saying? Ah, oh, she's up too close to level up. But if she gets to 3 and the DK gets to 4, 1 to 0 are almost certainly going to win this game. Oh, more Chao Nova. No fiends. Not by 1 to 0, by the way. Interesting. Unlike Happy, who normally transitions into fiends in the late game. I think I prefer this style I 1 to 0. Also, you can play very high tempo. Well, the heal scroll after the chain lightning was absolutely perfect. Kodo gets taken out, chased down again by some units at the side. But you can see the damage of the Berserk against the Destroyers still very noticeable. Hey, be in the map. The Light Armor are doing a good job. What is it? Keeps making ghouls. And a sixth Acolyte. Getting ready for an expansion while the focus is on the southern side of the map. to keep creeping. Oh, what is it? Could have hit, hit the main base again. I think that's a mistake. Not attacked. <laughs>